What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. I am very excited to be trying out a mono black aggro deck. Uh, this is a list that we pulled off of Aether Hub, and I really, really like this list. I haven't yet tried it, uh, but it just seems like it, it's got a lot of the pieces that it needs. And um, with some new cards from Corset 2021, I think that this could really do some damage. So we're going to test this one out today. Uh, it is an aggro deck, so we're only looking at about 22 lands, 4 Castle Lockthwain, 18 Swamps. Uh, some of the new cards that we're talking about here. So Demonic Embrace is really a key one. This is a three mana enchantment uh, that gives target creature plus three plus one and it has flying. Uh, it is a demon in addition to its other types. And then whenever you, or if you would like, you can cast this from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card. Now that's a hefty cost. Let me just be very clear. But uh, when you've got a lot of really, really strong targets for this, uh, you've got things like Rotting Regisaur here. Uh, you've got things that can, you know, Knight of the Ebon Legion, which can really boost itself up. You've got a lot of really good options. This is, I think, a very, very key card, and I'm really interested to see how this goes. Uh, now, the other card here is Kite Sail Freebooter. This is, again, a new card, not a, it's a reprint card uh, introduced with Corset 2021. And this is a really nice one because uh, it pulls a non-creature, non-land card from the opponent's hand. Uh, and you exile it until until Kite Sail Freebooter leaves the battlefield. So uh, this is a really nice um, kind of it's a threat in that it's a it's a flying attacker, uh, which is good. But uh, more importantly, it's something to really really get uh, get some stuff out of the opponent's hand and hopefully keep us in the game. That's the idea. Uh, now the rest of the deck here. Uh, we've got Gutter Bones, uh, we've got Hateful Eidolon, which is hopefully going to help us draw some cards. We've got quite a number of little enchantments here to deal with the opponent's creatures. Uh, or, honestly, if need be, kill our own, depending on the, the situation. Uh, and then, like I said, Knight of the Ebon Legion here is a very, very good aggressive threat. Uh, we do have Deadweight and Myers Grasp as those removal options. Kite Sail Freebooter here at the 2-drop slot. Rotting Regisaur as a huge, huge beater. Uh, along with Demonic Embrace in the 3-drop slot. And then Rankle, which is a card that I haven't played with in a long time, but I'm really excited to. Rankle is amazing. So 3-3, three, three, uh, Flying Haste for 4. Uh, and when it deals damage to a player, choose any number of the following effects. So each player discards a card, each player loses a life and draws a card, or each player uh, sacrifices a creature. Uh, what's great about this is it's flexible. I love flexibility in cards. Uh, generally speaking, more flexible cards like this and like things like Murderous Rider, stuff like that, those are really, really key cards because... Uh, no matter what the deck you're up against, you're you're going to be able to to have some kind of effect that will hopefully hit them pretty hard. So uh, Rankle, very, very good. And then Spawn of Mayhem as our final big beater. Uh, great, uh, really, really great aggressive card. So that's it. That's the deck. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to do the best we can to hopefully get a few wins with this one. And like I said, I'll be learning a little bit as we go. Uh, I have not tried this deck yet. Uh, generally, I try to vet the decks just a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can we can get a few wins under the belt. Also, I have a uh, an idea that I want to pose to you guys uh, that I'm really really excited about um, that we're going to talk about throughout this video. But uh, so I. I really want to push uh, the JDC stuff. Um, as you guys know, uh, that's something that we've put quite a lot of time and effort into. This is a pretty good hand. Um, and I'm very happy with, you know, how it's working and how it's turning out. But we certainly need, uh, not need, but we certainly have uh, room for growth, uh, is what I will say. Um, and so I'd like to push that and I'd like to adapt the JDC in the future to to really really be something special and i hope that we can get it there um i do think we can uh but it's obviously going to require some work and that's fine um and so i'm playing around with some different ideas uh and one of those ideas is to kind of create a league out of the jdc um but part of the idea for the record if anybody doesn't know what the jdc is it's the jank deck competition um i've talked about it a good bit so i'd be very surprised if you don't know what it is but that's okay um it is the jank deck competition it's meant to be a fun kind of silly thing um that ideally uh we get to you know play some silly decks have some fun and then bring in some other content creators or some other people in the community um and so it's a great option or a great opportunity for us to work with other people 
and creating some hopefully just really fun and silly content. Uh, not necessarily competitive, just for fun. Um, and I've thought a uh, long and hard about how I want to make that, you know, uh, a bigger thing than it is. Uh, potentially even bigger than just it resolves. This could incorporate a lot of different people and uh, could be a lot of fun. Um, and so I've, I've thought long and hard about how we're going to do that. And I had an idea uh, the other day um, that I think was kind of worth noting. Um, and I don't know if it's for sure the way that I want to go, but I do think that it's... It's got some legs. Um, I'm going to attack with both here. We'll see what happens. I don't know if, if they block or not, to be honest. Um, and so the idea here is to push this into a league more so than just, you know, us playing by ourselves or playing with a couple of smaller creators. I want to push this out to a lot more people. Um, so... I'm, I'm thinking what we could do is we could, we're going to try and incorporate, hopefully, uh, this, this is going to take a lot of work on our end. What I would love to do is incorporate some um, aspects of actual sports or esports into this entire process. Um, that includes, like, drafting of cards. Um, and so, oh, this is going to be interesting. All right, so... Um, each player sacrifices a creature seems pretty useful. This is useful, I think, too, because we can just get gutter bones back. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, discard gutter bones. I'm going to sacrifice the hateful Eidolon. We get to draw a card. Um, and we can just play the demonic embrace back again. Um, I understand that's a really good card, so I, I get, you know, that's a bit of a bold play. But considering that's the only creature they have on the field, I think that's worth it. Um, Knight of the Ebon Legion, also really good here. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I want to incorporate, like, you know, when a new set comes out, for instance, uh, say we have four to eight participants in the league, uh, and so what I'd love to be able to do is we go through, and keeping in mind this is a jank deck competition, so the idea is for this to be kind of fun and kind of silly. Um, and so what I would love to be able to do is, uh, um, let's see... What do we need to do? Well, this definitely needs to hit a player. Um, this definitely needs to go here. And we'll see what they do. Um, yeah, that makes complete sense. Uh, it's fine. Uh, do they have any cards in hand? They've got two. I'm just not going to do anything, I don't think. Um, let's do this. Play it for the spectacle cost here. Um, and let's do this. We're going to peg it on this. Uh, yes. Pay three life. That was weird. I don't know why we had to... Oh, what? I mean, whatever. That works. Um, we could have actually pegged that easier, but that's fine. Um, anyway, I kind of wanted to get rid of the creature. But uh, yeah, so... The the thought would be to, when a new set comes out, we draft one rare and one mythic from each color combination or each color, you know, individual color. And um, the the thought would be that that's, those are the cards that you have uh, access to throughout the season. So, like, if... I, I'll use the example of Thousand Year Storm. If you happen to draft Thousand Year Storm, um, you can use that in your deck and nobody else can. Uh, but you will build a constructed deck each week to play the next person in the tournament and all that stuff. And um, the idea is it's... Uh, no, no blocks. Um, so the idea is that we get to, you know, kind of incorporate the draft style of a e actual esports kind of thing with something that, you know, hopefully would just be a really fun thing. So I don't know. I'm... I'm playing around with a lot of ideas, uh, and I think it's fun, but it definitely is going to require some work. So that's the takeaway. Um, I know that that's not a very good explanation, but uh, I do think that it's it's worth talking about a little bit because I think it's fun. Um, I think we kind of have to kill a Johnny, as much as I don't particularly care to. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait. We can just kill them. I'm not, I'm not adding correctly. Sorry, I'm so distracted by this conversation that I'm literally not paying attention to the game. Um, anyway, 
So the, that's the idea, though. I, I think it would be really, really fun. It'd be great to get a bunch of other people involved. We could do team merch. We can do that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, it's obviously going to require a lot of um, planning on our end. Um, cause if we're facilitating, I don't want to be, yeah, I'd love to plan it, but also if I'm facilitating it, I probably can't do both. Um, and so we'd have to get a bunch of other people into it. Um, those people would probably have their own YouTube channels so that way they can post up the videos. Like there's a lot to this, um, that I'd really, really like to do, but it's going to be tricky. Um, and so I'm, I'm interested to get your thoughts on it, uh, mostly because, you know, you guys are the the people behind all this stuff, really. So I just wanted to see what you would think. Um, and if if that's something that you're into, that would be amazing. Um, I'm going to hold on to the dead weight, actually. It might have been better to play the freebooter here. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that probably is not a good call. Um, let's do this. Hmm. I could just play the rotting regisaur as well. Uh, let's kite sail freebooter first. We're playing this a bit safe, um, but I think that that's fine. Let's get banishing light out. Um, I'll tag in. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this here. Uh, Banishing Light being out of the hand is really, really nice for us. Um, they have so many Finale of Glories, though. Uh, sure. That's fine, but not, like, great. Um, we have ways to, to kind of get around it. Uh, also, this Rotting Regisaur is just going to be really good at some point, so, like, <laughs> that's going to be a problem for them. Um, nope. Cool. Um... Let's Demonic Embrace the Knight. Let's go ahead and kill this and get in for one. Uh, just because we can't really keep that on the field. That, that may not... It is a problem card eventually, so... Um, another one. Okay, sure. Depending on what we draw next turn, we'll either drop this... Uh, I think we just play the spawn, probably. Um... Wow, we've got so many rotting regisaurs. Um, let's do this, and let's do this. Same thing. Gotta just keep killing that. Um, and then let's go ahead and play the spawn here. Um, this is effectively blanking this. Um, they can finale of glory if they would like, uh, but they're not anywhere close to making this all that exciting. Um, and we all have flying, so like... Not really all that great. Um, Rotting Regisaur. Yeah. Let's attack with that, and let's attack with that. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave this back, because let's be very clear, they will have quite a good bit of, uh, of, of creatures here coming at us, so we do need to be able to block some things. Um, sure. Let's get that out of there, and let's get one of these guys. Um, Rankle, if we could play it, would be very helpful, to be honest. Um, I'm going to discard a Regisaur. Spawn of Mayhem. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, let's play it. It's a bit of a tough one, though, if I'm honest. Um, do these all have lifelink? No, okay. Let's see, two, three, um, hmm. Let's see, I'm, I'm trying to think. So they would have to block this, but that doesn't really help. So I'm just going to attack with that. Um, it might be incorrect. And really, Kite Sail Freebooter probably should have attacked you, but they just get to finale like a bunch. <laughs> um, and maybe Spawn was not the best because it does deal damage to us, uh, which is kind of a problem, but. Hmm. I don't love that. Um, but I think this is fine. We just get to swing in next turn, potentially. If we get a land, we just get there. We actually just get there anyway, don't we? Yeah, okay. I was about to say, I think we just get there anyway. All right, well, um, 
Am I not mistaken? That was three games. I think that was three games. That was pretty quick. Uh, this deck is sweet. <laughs> I know we didn't talk much about it because I know I was kind of harping on. Uh, oh, we got a. Well, let's open a pack. I know I was kind of harping on the the season two kind of thing of J the JDC. I just want to get your opinions on it. Is that something that you think would be fun? Um, combining those actual kind of real sports elements to a Magic League. Do you think that that would be fun? Uh, it'd be great to get some other content creators involved. If you've got anybody in mind that you think would be really fun for this kind of thing, um, let me know. Just drop a comment down below. We will obviously check them out. I've got people that I would love to have on, um, and then some people that I would love to have on, but unfortunately I don't have channels. And so, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm just playing around with this idea, so please don't take this as like it's happening right now or anything like that. There's a lot of infrastructure stuff that would need to happen, and so we're not there yet, but... I do just want to play around with the idea. I think it's a it's a fun one. Um, so just let me know your thoughts if you wouldn't mind. Uh, and of course, we'll jump into part two and we'll focus more on the deck in part two uh, because obviously this one's really, really solid. I'm, I'm liking this deck quite a lot. So uh, we will see you very, very soon for part two with this mono black aggro deck. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and listening to me rant about my random ideas. Really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in part two.